Okay, so I wanted to talk about different roles in cloud and also how much salary you get working these different roles in cloud. So this is your guide for, you know, if you're interested in a career in cloud, especially from the Canadian perspective. And we'll start with our first role, which is kind of an entry level role to get into cloud is the cloud support. So this basically means you're providing technical support to clients by identifying and resolving cloud issues. Think of it as a customer support role, but in the cloud, right? Uh, you're solving customer cases in cloud via different channels like telephone calls, emails, and web live chat. I think this is a great starting point if you're just entering cloud. Uh, this would be a great first role. And talking about the average salary in Canada right now for this role is 60 to 70,000 Canadian dollars. And that can vary. Also, salary ranges that I'll be talking about are just the base salary. In certain companies, you might also get other compensation benefits like stocks and bonuses. So I'm just going to stick to the base salary. So yeah, there you have it. That is the cloud support role. Moving on, we have a kind of looked at a lot of job postings and there is a really thin line between cloud admin and cloud engineer. It depends on how the company operates. And that's why I'll bunch this uh, cloud admin and cloud engineer role together. I know uh, some tech enthusiasts, please don't come after me. I know they both are a different role, but when I looked at the job description at many of the companies, they were kind of similar and also the salary range is similar. So as a cloud admin, your responsibilities, if it is a pretty new company that are adopting cloud, it could be, you know, choosing cloud providers and cloud technologies, what services. So all of those decisions behind picking a cloud provider and cloud uh, technology will be given to you. So you will be the one making those decisions. Uh, you'll also configure and support these cloud systems, right? You'll make sure once you have set up these systems in the cloud, uh, the security and permissions, how the access is being handled to those services, and what are some other teams that might need access to these services in cloud. Uh, so Authentication and authorization kind of will also fall under your belt, along with, you know, monitoring the network performance and uh, other metrics for these cloud resources, right? Uh, you will also have to establish some kind of connectivity if you have an on-prem data center, right? Think of site-to-site -site VPN connections. And then also figuring out a migration plan uh, from your on-prem to these new cloud uh, services that you have just designed. The average salary for a cloud admin or a cloud engineer in Canada right now is 80,000 to 90,000 Canadian dollar. And again, as I said in the beginning, you can expect some bonuses or stock options at certain companies. Um, and the highest salary I have seen for a cloud engineer can go up to 140,000 Canadian dollars, but that depends on your seniority, level of experience, right? Moving on, I have the most searched cloud role, which is the cloud solutions architect. Again, as we are moving on, you know, these roles are hard to get if you are a fresh person in cloud or you have just started learning cloud. Uh, and that's why I said the cloud support role is an amazing role to start your cloud career in. But talking about cloud solutions architect, uh, your responsibilities are like overall development and design of a robust, scalable uh, cloud-based platform. You will function as a cloud subject matter expert for implementing and overseeing cloud computing strategy for your organization. As the title suggests, you're architecting solutions as per the needs of your organization, right? Uh, cloud Solutions Architect actually contribute their knowledge of modern software development too. So don't just think about, you know, just cloud. You'll have to touch some things within development and within DevOps, right? So in a nutshell, it's a complete role where you will be given a problem and you have to design and architect a solution around that problem. So it could be, you know, let's say your organization came up with a new web app. What are some of the design 
uh, decisions, what are some of the architecture decisions that company will have to take and they'll rely on you for making those decisions. As I said, you act as a cloud subject matter expert uh, for this for the organization. As the cloud expert, your job entails mapping cloud adoption plans too. So if it is an organization that are ready to explore cloud and they have been hosting their apps and solutions on-prem, so you'll have to come in and see what is the best move to migrate all those apps to cloud. Also involves overseeing application architecture requirement and how the deployment will take place in cloud. So making sure that the apps are cloud ready and the average salary for this role, as you see, like uh, you're coming in as the subject matter expert, uh, you can expect higher numbers. So the average salary for a cloud solutions architect is 120,000 to 130,000 Canadian dollars per year. And again, on the upper side, I have seen some senior cloud solutions architect making around 180,000 Canadian dollars in Canada. Moving on to the last role that I had, uh, which is the cloud security engineer. Again, this is just uh, from the Canadian perspective. I went on Indeed, LinkedIn, other you know job marketplace uh, sites to see what are the most posted job postings. So as a cloud security engineer, you'll enable organization to design and implement secure workloads and infrastructure on cloud. So the focus here is to make all those workloads that you know other cloud engineers or solutions architect have designed, you have to enforce security, make sure you know those workloads are secure. You'll also be coming up with disaster recovery plans and how can be the app more available and scalable, right? Making sure you're investigating and analyzing existing cloud applications that the organization have and seeing what kind of vulnerabilities there might be, uh, those apps might be exposed to. You are responsible for keeping your infrastructure and the operating systems, uh, the applications that you might be running, third-party open source applications that you might be running up to date and current so that you know they are patched. So all of those design and important decisions that need to be made from a security perspective uh, will fall under you. You also will provide you know, guidance on security practices, strategies, processes, and things that can be improved to make these cloud applications more secure. And again, as you see, the responsibilities are kind of vast. So the average salary that you can expect for a cloud security engineer is 127,000 Canadian dollars per year. Again, I'll give you a ballpark that I've seen um, and that is around 156 to 160 thousand dollars Canadian a year. Again, that comes with seniority and experience that you might have already in the cloud industry. So yeah, there you have it. Those are the most posted cloud roles that I found on various job marketplaces in Canada. And those were the responsibilities you can expect. Again, the don't take this as a hard rule or something written in stone. The responsibilities can differ not only company to company, but organization to organization. I just wanted to provide a brief introduction to these roles that you might see on LinkedIn. So yeah, hope you liked the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.